Hello students. In present video, I am going to explain about third problem from bank reconciliation statement topic. I am making this video for degree students. I am taking this question from Kalyani Publications. Authors Jain and Naran. On BRS topic, I made three videos. One introduction video and the first two problems related videos. So these videos links are available in the description box. Let us see the question first. On 31st March 2016, my cash book showed a bank balance of 5,700 rupees. On checking the passbook with the cash book, I found the following differences. First one, checks worth 1,500 rupees were deposited by me in bank account on 28th March 2016. However, no credit was given until 31st March 2016. On 1st April 2016, Bank gave credit of 1500 rupees and debited 500 being written off one check. Second point, I had issued checks amounting to 1000 rupees before 31st March of which I find 400 rupees have been debited in the passbook after 1st April. Third, there is a credit of 75 rupees for interest in the passbook which remains to be adjusted. Fourth, I find a debit of 10 rupees in respect of charges in the passbook, which I had adjusted in the cash book as on 31st March. Fifth, I find a debit in the passbook on 2nd April in respect of a check paid in by me on 31st March and which has been dishonored. Sixth, I find a debit of 15 rupees in the passbook for interest on temporary overdraft. Seventh, there is a debit of 400 rupees in passbook for interest on investments collected by the bank on my behalf. This has been adjusted in the cash book. 8. A bill receivable for 700 rupees discounted with the bank for 690 rupees in February 2016 has been dishonored as on 31st March 2016. 9. I also find that a check for 70 rupees which I had debited in bank account in my books has been omitted to be bank. Prepare a bank reconciliation statement as on 31st March 2016. On 31st March 2016, my cash book showed a bank balance of 5700. On 31st March 2016, bank balance is given. Means on this date we are preparing BRS. Next bank balance he used. He is not giving whether it is favorable bank balance or overdraft bank balance. In the absence of any information, our assumption is this is favorable bank balance. As per which book he has given? Cash book. So we have to start the solution with favorable bank balance as per cash book. Heading is bank reconciliation statement of dash because firm's name is not given as on 31st March 2016. Three columns, particulars, amount, amount. First amount column is known as inner amount column. Second one is known as outer amount column. Favorable bank balance as per cash book. In outer column, 5,700. To this amount, some reasons we should add, some reasons we should subtract. Before solving the problem, let us recollect the rules for favorable bank balance as per cash book. Firm prepares cash book, bank prepares pass book, all bank related transactions, firm records in cash book, bank records in pass book. If any transaction is debited in cash book, same transaction should be credited in pass book and vice versa. Means if any transaction is credited in cash book, it should be debited in passbook. And when favorable bank balance is given in the question, we should remember that if our favorable bank balance is increasing because of any transaction, that transaction we have to post on debit side of cash book on credit side of passbook. Because of a transaction, if favorable bank balance is decreasing in cash book, it should be recorded on credit side and in passbook on debit side. In question, he has given some points now. All these points are what? Reasons for disagreement. On 31st March 2016, 
accountant compared the bank balance as per cash book and the pass book and there is a difference between these two balances by comparing cash book with the pass book accountant identified some reasons so by taking these reasons we have to prepare brs and we should know whether all the reasons are properly identified or not he has given favorable bank balance as per cash book in the question so we have to identify favorable bank balance as per pass book for that he has given some reasons now some reasons we have to add to this amount some reasons we have to subtract from this amount let us see the first reason for disagreement checks worth 1500 were deposited by me here me means firm because firm only prepares brs by me in bank account on 28th march 2016 28th March 2016 is before this preparation date, no? BRS preparation date. So before this date, firm deposited checks into bank. We assume that bank collected money from customers bank. The amount is deposited in our account. Our bank balance is increased. With us cash book is there. In cash book we record that amount. We say increase means debit side, no? Check amount is fifteen hundred rupees. Fifteen hundred we increased in cash book when on twenty eighth March two thousand sixteen because on that day only we deposited checks into bank. In cash book when we debit, in pass book bank has to credit that amount. But when they credit that amount in pass book, when really bank collects that money. If really that money is deposited in our account, then only they enter that in credit side of pass book. What happened? See. However, no credit was given until thirty first March two thousand sixteen. Means what? Up to this date, in pass book, nothing was credited. After this date, what happened? He is giving. Let us see that point. On first April two thousand sixteen, bank gave credit of fifteen hundred and debited five hundred, being written off one check. So after this date, bank credited fifteen hundred and one check is dishonored. One check amount is bounced. So by this date, what happened? That only we should consider because BRS we are preparing on thirty first March two thousand sixteen now. Up to that date, what happened? That only we should consider while preparing this problem. After this date, what happens? That is immaterial to us. Therefore, don't consider this continuation line. Favorable bank balance as per cash book is given in the question. Then the rule is, we should adjust cash book as per pass book. Means, according to pass book, if a bank balance is increasing, we should also increase in cash book. According to pass book, if a bank balance is decreasing, we should also decrease in cash book. According to pass book, if a bank balance is constant, no increase, no decrease, then here also we have to make the balance constant. So here what happened? According to pass book, bank balance is constant, no increase, no decrease, but we increased to fifteen hundred. Now cash book should be adjusted according to pass book, no? So what to do in cash book? This fifteen hundred now we should cancel. We increased. If you want to cancel that again, we should decrease now. Decrease means we side credit side. Credit side fifteen hundred we should decrease. This is our answer. To identify that this is our answer, we should round up this. Answer is coming as decrease. Decrease means subtract. So. This value fifteen hundred we have to subtract from five thousand seven hundred rupees. What to write in particular column? We deposited checks but not collected. Write down that checks are deposited but not collected. In inner column fifteen hundred rupees. On the subtraction first point, checks are deposited but not collected fifteen hundred rupees. I had issued checks amount into thousand. Before thirty first March, of which I find four hundred have been debited in the passbook after first April. I means here form now. 
firm issued checks to suppliers. Firm has to pay 1000 rupees to supplier. So instead of paying in cash, firm issued checks. When before this date, when we issue checks to anybody, we assume that that person went to our bank, he presented the check, he took the money, our bank balance is decreased. With us cash book is there, decrease means credit side. So we credited 1000 rupees in cash book. Suppose that person went to bank, he presented check, he took the money from our account, our bank balance decreases, then it will be recorded on debit side of passbook. In cash book credit side means in passbook on debit side only. But what happened? Of which I find 400 have been debited in the passbook after 1st April. So after 31st March 2016, what happened that we should not consider now. So 400 check was not presented till 31st March 2016. Means what? Balance 1000 minus 400, 600 rupees is presented up to 31st March 2016. So 600 was debited in passbook credited in cash book. Therefore, 600 is recorded properly in these two books. Means 600 is not a reason for disagreement. According to pass book, 600 was debited up to 31st March 16. But according to cash book, 1000 was debit, credited. Now, which book balance is given in the question? Bank balance as per cash book is given. So what is the rule? Adjust cash book as per passbook. As per passbook, 600 is decreased. But if we decrease 1000, we should also decrease only 600. So how much extra we decreased? 400 extra. That 400, if you increase, then that decreased 400, increased 400, both will get cancelled. In 1000, if 400 is cancelled, remaining amount is 600 only. So 400, we should increase again. Increase as per cash book means debit side, no? This is our answer. Our answer is coming as increase, means add. So this 400, we should add to that balance. What to write in particular column? What happened once you observe? What is this 400? We issued, but not presented in the back. So checks issued, but not presented 400 rupees in outer column. Under additions, first point, checks issued but not presented 400 rupees. Third reason for disagreement. There is a credit of 75 rupees for interest in the passbook, which remains to be adjusted. Where we have to adjust? In cash book. Interest, income, bank people credited in passbook. This is favorable bank balance now. So bank allowed interest on that. For us, this is income. In our account, bank deposited that interest. So bank maintains passbook now. In passbook, it was recorded. We said, because of this transaction, bank balance increases. As per passbook, increase means credit said Amount, 75 rupees. 75 rupee is credited in passbook. In passbook credit means, in cash book, it should be on debit side. But what happened? Not at adjusted. Means not at recorded. So 75 was not debited in cash book. Which book balance is given to us? Cash book balance. So what is the rule? Adjust cash book as per passbook. As per passbook, 75 rupee bank balance is increasing. In cash book, we should also increase. Increase means debit side. 75 we should increase. This is our answer. Our answer is coming as increase. Means this 75 we should add to that balance. What to write in particulars? This 75 rupees what? Interest. Credited in passbook only. So interest credited in passbook only. 75 rupees in outer column. Under addition second point. Interest credited in passbook only. 75 rupees. Fourth point. I find a debit of 10 rupees in respect of charges in the passbook. 
which I have adjusted in the cash book as on 31st March. In passbook, there is a debit for bank charges. You know, bank provides so many services to customers, not at free of cost. No? So from our account, time to time, they deduct some amount towards bank charges. First, who knows about this? Bank people with their passbook will be there. And if they deduct bank charges, our bank balance decreases. Means in passbook, we said it will be recorded on debit side. So they recorded 10 rupees for bank charges in passbook. And when we came to know about that on 31st March, on 31st March only we are preparing BRS now. So before preparing BRS, what we did in cash book, we updated that amount. We said in passbook debited means in cash book credited. Credit side 10 rupees we wrote. In two books, properly this amount is recorded. Therefore, this 10 rupees is not a reason for disagreement. Therefore, this 10 rupee we should not adjust to that amount. Don't add this, don't subtract this. Simply ignore this point. Fifth point. I find a debit in the passbook on 2nd April in respect of a check paid in by me on 31st March and which has been dishonored. On 31st March, a check paid in by me. Paid in by me means deposited. So from customer, firm received one check. Firm deposited that check into bank on 31st March 16. When we deposit that check, we assume that our bank balance is increased. With us, cash book is there. Increase means which side, debit side. Check amount is not there, no? Take one imaginary value. 1000 rupees. We increased this 1000 in our cash book. And what is giving? On 2nd April, bank debited this amount in passbook. On 2nd April, Bank debited this 1000 in passbook. Debit means what? Decrease. Why they are debiting? Because check is dishonored. So we should understand that by 31st March 2016, same amount was credited in passbook also. So what happened exactly here? On 31st March 16, firm deposited 1000 check in the bank. Firm thought that bank balance increased. In cash book, we debited 1000 rupees. Bank also, on 31st March 16, they credited passbook. But on 2nd April, they realized that this check was dishonored. Check was bounced. Then they should cancel this. How to cancel this transaction by writing on debit set? So this is after 31st March 16. No? We are preparing BRS on 31st March 16. After that date, what happened? That is immaterial to us. Therefore, don't consider this. On 31st March, what happened? 1000 was debited in cash book and credited in passbook. So same amount was recorded in two books on proper sites. Therefore, this thousand is not a reason for disagreement. While preparing BRS on 31st March 16, this thousand rupee you need not to consider. Simply ignore. Sixth reason for disagreement. I find a debit of 15 rupees in passbook for interest on temporary overdraft. This is favorable bank balance. So bank allows interest on that. But there is one temporary overdraft. Overdraft means loan. Firm has taken loan from bank. Then who should pay interest to whom? Firm should pay interest to bank. We have account now. From that account, bank deducts that interest. So after deducting that amount, bank balance decreases. Means in passbook we said, debit said, they recorded in passbook. Amount is 15 rupees. In passbook debit side means in cash book we should record on credit side. But in question is giving that 
I find a debit of 15 rupees in passbook for interest on temporary overdraft. He is giving that in passbook 15 rupees debited. He is not giving anything about cash book. So we should keep always this point in mind. All these amounts are what? Recorded in one book means not recorded in another book. So we should understand that in cash book 15 was not credited. Which book balance is given in the question? Cash book balance. Rule is adjust cash book as per passbook. As per passbook 15 rupee bank balance is decreasing. In cash book we should also decrease. 15 rupees we should decrease. This is our answer. Decrease means subtract. So 15 rupees we have to subtract from this bank balance. What to write in a particular column? Interest on overdraft debited in passbook only. Under subtraction second point, interest debited in passbook only 15 rupees. Next is seventh point. There is a debit of 400 in passbook for interest on investments collected by the bank on my behalf. This has been adjusted in the cash book. Interest on investments. Firm invested some amount in outside business. Suppose we purchased outside company debentures, government bonds. On these investments, we should receive interest now. We have given standing instruction to our bank. You collect the interest and deposit in my account. So bank collected interest, 400 rupees. When they deposit that interest in our account, Bank balance increases, no? Means in passbook, we said they should record that credit side. Amount is 400 rupees. First, bank knows about this. Means it will be recorded in passbook. When we come to know about that, we also adjust that amount in our cash book. We said because of that 400, bank balance is increasing. Means in cash book, it should be recorded on debit side, no? What he is giving once you observe? This has been adjusted in the cash book. Means 400 is debited in cash book. Okay. There is a debit of 400 in the passbook. In passbook, instead of crediting, bank people debited this amount. If they record 400 on credit side of passbook, bank balance increases by 400 but they debited means bank balance is decreased by 400 to understand this take one imaginary value before this transaction assume that bank balance as per cash book is a thousand rupees and bank balance as per passbook is also same thousand rupees now they recorded 400 in this manner in cash book, they increased 400. What is the effect on bank balance? Bank balance increases by 400. Now, bank balance becomes 1400. In pass book, they decreased 400 by mistake. So, what is the effect on this bank balance? Bank balance will become 1000 rupees minus 400 is equal to 600 rupees. See, there is a difference between bank balances as per these two books. And how much is the difference? 800 rupees. So, comparing to passbook, cash book balance is more by 800 rupees. Now, which book balance is given in the question? Bank balance as per cash book is given. Rule is adjust cash book as per passbook. As per passbook, Bank balance is decreased by 800 rupees now. This is the final effect of this recording. Now, what we should do in cash book? We should also decrease 800 rupees. Then both books balances will be equal. So, final answer is 800 rupees we have to decrease in cash book. This is our answer. Decrease means minus, subtract. So, 800 we have to subtract from that amount. What to write in particular column? 400 rupees interest on investments debited in passbook. Under subtractions, 8th point, 
interest on investments debited in passbook only in inner column 800 rupees point number 8 a bill receivable for 700 discounted with the bank for 690 rupees in february 2016 has been dishonored as on 31st march 2016 some new words are there first one bill second one discounted third one dishonor to understand this you should know some basics of bills of exchange see our firm sold 700 rupees worth of goods to one customer when before 31st march 2016 take one imaginary date first january 2016 we sold this goods to customer on credit and we want to have a return proof from him with same amount firm prepares a bills of exchange so bill means what bills of exchange and we took his signature now to this bill there are two parties firm and the customer firm prepared this bill so firm is known as drawer bill is prepared on customer customer is known as drawee assume customer has taken 3 months time from 1st january 16 3 months means 1st january to 1st february 1 month 1st march 2 months 1st april 3 months payment date is 1st april 2016 and to this day extra 3 days we should add because if that day falls on a public holiday or any unexpected holiday bank curfew then he may not be in a position to pay the amount so extra 3 days also we allow from next day we should come second third fourth so fourth april 16 is known as due date of the bill on that day firm should go to customer firm should present this bill and firm should take the amount to the firm this bill is known as bills receivable because in future we are going to receive amount on this to customer this bill is known as bills payable because in future customer has to pay the amount suppose before the due date only firm needs amount some unexpected financial urgency came we requested customer if you pay the amount now we will give some rebate to you but customer is not in a position of paying the amount he refused for this proposal we have another option that is we can sell this bill to a bank or to any other party then from bank only we take this amount in question is giving that in february month firm sold the bill to bank date is not given take one imaginary date on 1st february 2016 firm sold this bill to bank and bank paid 690 rupees means what instead of paying 700 rupees to firm bank is paying 690 rupees now bill is with whom we sold bill to bank bill is with the bank so selling the bill to bank before the due date of the bill is known as discounting on the due date who goes to customer bank bank presents this bill and the bank collects 700 rupees bill amount so how much is the profit to bank 10 rupees bank is collecting 700 but bank paid 690 rupees difference is banker's profit for this 10 rupees profit only banker accepted for this discounting proposal now come to dishonor word suppose on the due date customer paid 700 rupees to bank that is known as honor bill is honored but what happened here bill is dishonored bank went to customer customer failed to pay the 700 rupees to bank then who will become second responsible person 
form only no because form only gave this bill to us if customer pays that 700 then no problem if not if customer dishonors that bill then bank will deduct that 700 rupees from our account only so when bank deducted this amount before 31st march 2016 so 700 bank deducted from our account who knows about this bank bank is maintaining passbook and when they deduct 700 from our account our bank balance decreases that is why in passbook debit said they enter in cash book we said we should enter in passbook debited means in pa cash book credited so on 31st march 2016 bill was dishonored that is why on 31st march 16 only bank debited 700 we should understand and is not giving anything about cash book we should understand that in cash book they have not credited this amount now which book balance is given in the question cash book balance rule adjust cash book as per passbook as per passbook 700 bank balance is decreased we should also decrease 700 rupees in cash book this is our final answer minus you have to subtract 700 from that amount what to write in particular column so bill discounted dishonored and the subtractions fourth point bill discounted dishonored debited in passbook only in inner column 700 rupees last point ninth point i also find that a check for 70 rupees which i had debited in bank account in my books you should understand that in triple column cash book debit side in bank column they recorded 70 rupees debit side of cash book means bank balance is increasing now but we omitted to be banked means what we recorded in cash book we forgot to deposit that check in passbook when they record in passbook if we deposit if they collect the money then only you know we are not yet deposited means in passbook this 70 was not recorded we said they should record in cash book debit said means in passbook credit said they should record but they have not recorded anything which book balance is given cash book balance what is the rule adjust cash book as per passbook as per passbook bank balance is constant but we increased now what to do what we increased previously now that we should cancel how to cancel by decreasing decreasing means credit side if you credit 70 rupees in cash book then two amounts will get cancelled finally as per cash book also bank balance is constant this is my answer decrease is my answer means 70 rupees you have to subtract from that amount under subtractions fifth point checks are debited in cash book but not deposited into bank in inner column 70 rupees all reasons were taken in brs finally outer column three amounts are there now 5700 475 add these three amounts and write down the total in outer column total is 6175 next come to inner column five amounts are there 1500 15 rupees 800 700 and 70 add these five amounts and write down the total in outer column this five amounts total is 3085 now finally from 6175 we have to subtract 3085 answer is 3090 in question he has given favorable bank balance as per cash book now so this answer is known as favorable bank balance as per passbook. So this is the end of present video. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.